So I have another video on updating the Godox X3S trigger firmware to version 1.14. I have made videos on all the previous firmware versions. This video might seem redundant, but my intention is to help users feel at ease when updating because many people encounter errors, disconnections, or even think they have bricked their trigger. In a previous video, I even showed how to unbreak this trigger. In another video, I even demonstrated that you can overwrite the same firmware version. Alright, let's get started. Have your Godox X3 trigger and a USB-C cable ready. You should make sure the trigger is fully charged or the battery should almost be full. Open up a browser and go to godox.com. On top, under Support tab, select Firmware. On the side, select Firmware Launcher Installer. Scroll down to the bottom. Select Godox G3 Launcher V1.1 for your operating system. Minimize the browser and go to your downloads folder. And unzip it. Go back to the website and scroll back up to the top. In the search bar, type in X3. Down on the bottom, download the latest firmware file for the Godox X3 trigger for your camera. It's a BIN file. Mine is the X3 for Sony. Minimize the browser again and back to Downloads. And unzip that file. Now you can delete these if you want. Open the Godox G3 V1.1 software or app. For a Mac user, you could see this. Open up System Settings and scroll down to Privacy and Security. Scroll more to Security. Go and cancel the message. And then you will see this under security. Select open anyway and enter your password. Select open. After your trigger is fully charged, you can turn the trigger on. Connect the trigger to your computer using the USB-C cable. And you can see that it is connected, but things are going to happen right here. Just bear with me and have a look. While trying to film this, I'm not fast enough. So this is what I get, device disconnected. Waking it back up, all this in real time, while going to the setting and to device info. And you can see device connected again. Here you see the current firmware version 1.13. Seems like everything is ready. Go ahead and select update on the software on the app. And I get please open file. Select open file. And select the folder that the BIN file is in. And you get this. Select update. Again, I wasn't doing it swiftly enough and the trigger went to sleep so I have to wake it up and you see the device connected again <laughs> this time my trigger went into charging 
So device disconnected, please connect device again. Unplugging and plugging back in will not work. Okay, so turning the trigger back on. And then plug it back in. <laughs> device connected again. And selecting update again. Okay then, go into setting, scroll down to device info, and select update manually. Okay, then select update on the app again. And waiting patiently, and finally I see the green progress bar moving. Just wait. Again, all this in real time. All right, you get update device success. Select exit on the app since the bar is full and update success. You can then unplug and turn it back on. Then you can go and check the device info for the firmware version number. There you go, V1.14. If you're wondering about the benefits and improvements, there's only one for this version, that is, to optimize power saving. If the screen turned black, or you think you might have pricked the trigger, According to Godox, you can press both the test button and the select dial at the same time, and then release the test button only until upgrading appears on the interface. Then the device can be upgraded again. For me, I just press and hold the dial button until I see the arrow up icon and plug it back in, or just plug it back in first and make sure the app or the updater is open, and that's it. Oh, one more thing. After everything is done, you can delete both the app and the folder because you can always download them just in case there's a newer version of the launcher, the app, and the next firmware together. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you for watching.